What's going on, y'all? We back at it again. It's your boy Bezo with Wheels, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hey, look, we're gonna dive right into this, man. Uh, y'all seen the title? I'm excited about this video because I love guns myself. I'm licensed to carry. Um, I've always had a gun since I was 18. I'm 24. Um, not very long. I know some of you younger guys probably had it longer than I have, but man, I got into guns heavy. I love guns. I've had a lot of guns. I started painting cars, but as soon as I realized I could paint a gun, it was over with. I had, man, I was having fun with it. Um, I ended up painting my Glock 17. Um, this color is plum crazy purple. Um, it sucks because I made another YouTube video and I had my purple Glock, but I changed the whole color. It's actually hanging up in the background. I will upload pictures of how it used to be, but I didn't change the game. Tell me how y'all like. This is olive green. Um, It was supposed to be matte because I went six to one on the clear. Um, It was supposed to be four to one, five to one, and six to one. Um, So it, it's borderline eggshell. I don't know. Nah, never mind. It's, it's kind of gloss. And we got the red extended 30 round magazine. I threw a little pearl in there. I will show y'all how she looks in the sun. I can't wait to put this bad boy together. Um, I did. I this is the first time I ever took a whole Glock apart ever. Like I normally just take the slide and the magazine out. That's it. So that's the trigger. Um, this is the slide release. Um, this is the magaz. Uh, no, this is the slide release. I think I forgot. I forgot which one it is. That's the side part. Um, the bottom, the standard magazine. Um, the magazine release right there. Um, all the little pins. I did all of that, man. I never done that before. So I'm anxious to see how this is going to look when it's all together. Now, I normally don't ever do. This is my first lot. I lied. Um, this is my first gun that I've ever done. Like the handle part. Normally, I keep them black. Normally, this is a Glock as well. Glock 42, 380. Um, I don't know why, man. I'm losing my breath. Like It's like the air is like, I don't know, thin, thick. I don't know what's going on. Weather is changing. Anyways. This is a white metallic. No, this is a white pearl, pearl white um, slide for the Glock 42. White and white magazine. Boom. I did a pink Smith and Wesson. And then I did a gold. I like how this gold came out, though. I'm impressed with that. So, yeah, I just got to put these bad boys together. And then, bruh, I'm excited. I'm mad excited. Uh, oh, yeah. And then my shotgun right here. Um, these colors bang in the sun, man. I swear, like, I'm not even lying. All my guns are empty, so don't be alarmed. Um, it's not in the most perfect condition because I rushed it as far as putting it together, man. I could not wait. I was so anxious. This color scheme, crazy. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just was having fun with it and then just took off. So everybody was like, do mine, do mine. I turned a lot of people down. I was like, nah, I don't do it. I just, just doing it for fun. Then they were like, bro, I'll give you 100. I'll give you 50. I'm like, mm okay so yeah money talk but like i said this is my first time i don't feel fully comfortable with doing the hand part because i don't know the durability once we put it together i'm gonna rock it i'm gonna treat it like i you know normally treat it and if it starts chipping faded i'll let y'all know i'll keep y'all updated um other than that metal surfaces it's not an issue um like i said even the barrel when it was purple when the barrel was turning black i was like oh snap i gotta let everybody know i went home i wiped it on my pants that mother came right off so um, yeah, let me go ahead and just put these bad boys together and I'll show y'all how it look. Woo! Yes, sir. That is it right there. That color scheme is crazy, man. I was kind of doubting it when I was paint, uh, painting it green, but yeah, that's hard. Man, it be hard, bro. I don't care what anybody say. That's hard. Hey, let's jump straight into the durability, though, because I get a lot of people asking me about how long the paint lasts with the, with the bam. It lasts as long as you, you want it, man. You got to you gotta take care of it. It's just like a car. I go through the same process. It's just like a car. Scuff sand it, prime it, paint it, clear it. Um, I think the minimum is like at least two weeks before you start heavy handling it, like throwing it in a cup holder, slapping it in your holster, throwing it on top of the refrigerator. I shot mine about three days after I painted it, the, the plum crazy purple and black. I three, About three days later, I put over 150 rounds in it. Not one mark, scratch, or anything. I do not recommend that. I don't. 
Um, damn, that shotgun busted. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all watching. Feel free to uh, like, comment, subscribe, ask me anything. Uh, right now, I'm just experimenting, man. I'm having fun with it. This is not like just critical, you know what I'm saying? I'm having fun with it. So that's a color shifting panel right there I did just to play around with. Um, yeah, man, y'all throw me some ideas. Other than that, we got this green. Woo, that right there. That came from Atlanta, Georgia. But uh, other than that... This is how my Glock used to look when it was purple and black. I will say that thing was hard. I did not want to change it for nothing, but I just, uh, right now I ain't got 30 Glocks to just be painting like that. But at the end of the day, man, we just having fun. I'm painting anything. I don't care if you got a refrigerator right now. I'm just, I'm really not painting on cars right now just because I really want to perfect my craft. I want to make sure, because it's a whole car. I got to make sure this, your car come out A1. So I'm just right now, I'm working on laying on some glass, uh, laying on, working on my orange peel, working on some trash. Uh, so I kind of put a pause on that. So right now we're just doing little miscellaneous pieces. Um, little quick and little simple stuff but at the same time like i think i might be on or something with these guns because i don't know anybody personally paying guns so yeah like i said before y'all like comment subscribe man i deeply appreciate y'all watching i appreciate y'all subscribing man real quick i have forgot to mention y'all like almost died the other day um i don't have a garage door as you can see Long story short, man, look, I backed the truck, red truck out that I just painted. All right, man, I'm glad you loved it, man. Appreciate your service, blah, blah, blah. Um, Yeah, back then I came and shut the garage door one night, and it would not close. One side did, one side wasn't. I was like, what the hell? So I was like, I'll worry about it the next day. Next day I got back on it, tried to mess with it, tried to mess, you know what I'm saying, tried to do my thizzle. Hell, nah, almost died. Um, Long story short, I guess this cable was broke. I didn't even know garage doors even had cables. Um, this, this cable was on, so I'm trying to stomp on, I'm trying to push it down and I'm like, what the hell? And mind you, these, these were off track. I guess the two, three wheels was on both sides was like off track. They weren't even on them. So I'm pushing it down. I finally got it real low and that I just heard a loud ass pop and it was over. It was over. Um, the cord popped. I, I want to say it did this. I want, I don't know, but I just remember hearing the tank. It hit it. And when it hit, bruh, top half of the garage, that, mother, that motherfucker folded. The top half had folded. And that mug bit me. No, nah, I kid you not. That mug fell on my head, crushed me down there. And then when I heard all of that shit, I just felt the whole garage door like lift up off the ground. It took my feet. was uh, Bro, I was out of my flip-flops. I kid you not. Like, I was out of my flip-flops. Like, I was only supposed to come out here and just... Boom, 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 and that's it. Call it a day. That bitch said, bitch, lifted up and dropped my ass on the ground. I was out here for like five minutes. I kid you not. I'm not bullshit. My mother, my mother-in-law came outside. Are you all right? Boy, I had my foot propped up on his chair like, <gasps> still trying to catch my breath, yo. Like, I thought I was dead, bro. I was like, Jesus, I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Like, on a mess. I would have been. When I realized I was alive, I busted out laughing. But I was hurting. I, nigga, I, my breath was gone. Like, I kid you not. I'm going to show you again. The garage, the top part, fell, curved, hit me. Like, hit my waist. Like, that's how tucked it was. And then went up at the same time. So, I don't know if the cable got stuck. It just, it just yanked up. It just yanked up. And the whole garage door picked up while I'm in there. And drop my shit. Now I'm just laid down a garage door on top of me. Like I kid you not, the whole entire garage door was on top of me. And I had to crawl. I look like I felt like a dumbass. Like <laughs> I'm by myself. Like <sighs> couldn't breathe. So yeah, man. That's why I ain't got no doors. But I got some double doors on the way. So we're gonna be sliding left to right with the padlock in the middle. I got all my expensive shit inside. So yeah, man. That's to give y'all the rundown on the garage door. That's not here. Appreciate y'all watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We out.